Oh, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Follow Up Friday. So does being a vendor, like the thought of being a vendor at a networking event, like make you clam up and get all anxious? Well, if this is the case and you've never done a vendor booth and you've been avoiding it for years, you are in the right place because I'm going to share three things that you can do to make it a fun experience that actually is rewarding and that brings you clients and business and income, okay? So please feel free to share this video if you find it to be inspiring and informative and helpful. Please spread it to your newsfeed and drop a friend's name down below if you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube or LinkedIn. Anyone who you think could benefit from the information. So please share the love. I would so appreciate that. And if you're listening to this replay, please post down below any questions or comments about this conversation. I would love to hear your thoughts and I will come back in and respond. If you're seeing this through an email that you've received, please email me back any questions or comments that you have, okay? So if you're new to my world, I'm Debbie Hoffman. I am a sales and follow-up coach and I work with heart-centered entrepreneurs, coaches, consultants, people in the network marketing industry who are letting potential clients and income slip through the cracks because they don't have an effective and reliable follow-up system in place. So I support them to create a step-by-step -step process for their business so they consistently enroll more clients and have more clients saying yes to working with you in a very non-salesy way, okay? Hope that sounds good. So the problem is that so many people just don't even think of having a vendor booth, they avoid it totally because they don't know how to do it and they think it's scary and they're uncomfortable with it. And how do I know this? Because I host networking events every month and I have vendor spots available each month. And we usually have three to four vendors, but we have room for eight and people are not, I'm inviting them to do it and they're not doing it. And I think it's because people are concerned about doing it. They're anxious. They're worried. And the problem is people are too attached to the results. So one of the benefits of being a vendor, and this is, I'll be talking about online vendor booths and in-person vendor booths. So when you're in person at a live event and you have a vendor booth, people are walking up to you because they're curious. They're coming up to your booth. It's so much easier when people come up to you versus when you need to walk up to people and introduce you, your, yourself to them and share what you do, right? It's just so much easier. So you're way ahead of the game. It's a much more com com comfortable conversation. You can ask questions like, oh, you know, you seem curious. What drew you over to my booth or what caught your attention? Because you'll have some banners, you'll have some display, you'll have things to, uh, you know, draw people to you, right? So when you're in an online networking event, it's very similar because people are coming into your vendor booth because they're interested in learning about what you have to offer. And then you can ask questions and get curious. So here's my first tip. Don't hose people down when they come into your vendor booth, whether it's online or in person. Have you ever been to an event and you walk up to a booth and they just hose you down for five to 10 minutes? They don't stop. They don't ask you any questions. They're just throwing up all over you, basically. We don't want to be that person. So we want to engage in conversation and you can share the different things that you offer and ask, where would you like me to start? What, what's of most interest to you? And then ask them questions around that product or service that you're offering there. Ask them if they have an issue with that. Do they have a concern around that topic? right? So when you engage people and have a conversation, it becomes more natural. It becomes more fun. It's just relaxed, right? You probably, if you do have an issue about, you know, going to uh, having a vendor booth, it might be because you were at an event and you just were repelled by the way the person uh, interacted with you, all right? So you can do it in a very fun way, get curious, ask questions, have a conversation, and always ask for permission if they're interested in going to the next step and hearing the next thing you have to share. Because if they're not interested and you keep them there, they're gonna shut down 
their heart will close, they'll be checking out. So you want to always ask for permission. Does this sound interesting to you? Would you like to learn more? And I'm just going to see if anyone has shown up here yet. Okay. Ah, Tress is here. Thanks, Debbie, for new folks. Debbie's online network notes are really great value as a way to connect with like-minded coaches and entrepreneurs. I'm a creative coach and have met other heart-centered service providers. They're awesome. So happy you're here, Tressa. I love Tressa. You've got to get to know her. Yes, we missed you last week at our event, so please come. Um, I'll be telling you all about the next networking event in a minute. Okay, so uh, solution two, my second tip, is come prepare, have, set an intention of what you want to have happen at the event, but let a go to the, of the attachment to the results, right? When you set an intention, you put it out there in the universe, right? And you drive into you. But if you're desperate or anxious to get clients to sign up to work with you or buy your product, whatever it is you're offering, people will feel that desperate energy. So we don't want to we don't want to have a, an agenda, right? Just have fun, be in conversation, show up in service, and have a call to action. Have a plan, an intention of what you want the next step to be. Do you want these people to buy your product at the booth? Do you want to have a conversation with them later? If you're a coach, do you want to invite them to connect with you for a discovery session if they've shown interest in what you have to offer? Like have clarity for your call to action. Because if you don't have a call to action and you don't have a plan, then all the time, energy, and money that you put into having this booth will be wasted, okay? Okay, let's see if Trust has anything else to say. Okay, great. So call to action. Do you have a workshop coming up? Do you have a live event coming up? Do you have a masterclass? You know, what do you have happening that you want to invite these people to, okay? Um, all right, so that's the second tip. Third, and this is the key, is you'll meet a lot of people at these events. So actually, I'm going to back up. When you're at these events, have a way to capture their information. When I used to do vendor booths in person, I would have little slips for people to fill out where they could answer some questions so I would know what they were interested in. You can also have a clipboard with a sign-up form. When you're online networking, you just want to ask people if they're interested in connecting with you to learn more about what you offer, to see if it could support them or maybe other people that they know. And if they say yes have them put their information in the chat right away so you have their information. And be prepared if you're doing online networking and, and if you're a vendor, have an online, you know, have a, a Google spreadsheet or an Excel spreadsheet ready for you to capture their information, okay? All right. Third, follow up after the event, right? I have a friend who used to do events so often and she would never schedule time in her calendar to follow up with these people. So it became a waste of time because you meet so many people. It's a lot of work to do these, you know, to follow up from these vendor booths, especially when you're live at an event. And if it's a weekend event, if you're just going to a two hour networking event, you'll have a handful of people to follow up with. But you have to have it set in your calendar. So as soon as you sign up to attend that event and be a vendor, block off time in your calendar every single day for the next few days for 30 minutes to 60 minutes to follow up with these people because when they're, especially those people that were interested and leaned in because their interest is at the highest when you've had that conversation with them and it keeps waning, the further you know away from that date, the longer it, time passes, the more their interest is gonna drop, they're gonna get distracted, life will get in the way and other things will become more of a priority. So follow up, follow up, follow up. So I just want to share with you, I've had, I'm like the vendor queen. I have had vendor booths forever. I built a few six-figure businesses from being a vendor at events. I used to go to a weekend, a three or four day women's networking event, eWomen Network in Dallas. They usually have it every uh, August. And from the last event I did, I brought in $75,000 in income and the clients that signed up to work with me have been my favorite clients of all times. And one of those clients has worked with me now. She just signed up to work with me for an additional year. We'd already worked together for nine months. Okay, so from that event, it's been way, way over $100,000 
in income that's come in. So that's the power of having a net, having a booth at a networking event. So if you've been resisting this, I just invite you to try it out, to check it out. If you want to learn how to do a vendor booth, I have an online uh, home study program, Profitable Networking Formula. You can go to my website at powerupyourfollowup.com forward slash, I think it's PNF. And you can also practice being a, a vendor at my next uh, networking event. So we meet on the third Wednesday of the month. I think it's, uh, was it November 17th? Let me just double check. November 17th. You can sign up for a networking, uh, for a vendor booth for $35. And it's $19 to attend the event. And I put people in your room. You have two rounds of, with different people before the event. And then two, like 10 to 12 minute rounds to meet with people after the event. So you'll get to meet with a lot of different people. You have an opportunity to share what you do in front of the room for about 45 seconds to a minute, depending on how many vendors are there. I promote you in the emails. So people will have your contact information and your title, like what you do. And it's super fun. My networking event attracts such heart-centered, wonderful entrepreneurs. So you'll have a blast doing it. So if you have any questions about it, please email me at debbie at powerupyourfollowup.com. And to learn more about the event and to register, go to powerupyourfollowup.com forward slash networking, powerupyourfollowup.com forward slash networking. So please join me next week. Trust if you have any questions, you can post it here right away and I'll answer them and come next week at 10 a.m. Pacific join me live. You can ask questions. You can get support. And again, if you're watching the replay, post your questions down below. And if you're receiving this through email, send me your, an email with your questions and I promise to get back to you and respond. All right, everybody have a great week and weekend. And I'll see you next week on Follow-Up Friday. Bye for now.